Welcome to the WR3 Schools CSS text tutorial. You can use CSS to format text in many different ways. Let's go through the most common ways to format text. First, how to set text color. You can set the color of a text with the color property. In CSS, a color is usually specified by either a hex value, like we said for this header, or an RGB value, like we set for this paragraph, or a color name, like we set for the body element. By setting the color for the body element, we set the default color of the page. So if we remove the styles for the other elements, all elements will have the default color we set for body. Let's try changing it. Now all the elements are blue. Let's try to set the text alignment. You can set the horizontal alignment of a text using the text align property. Text can be centered like this h1 element with the text align property set to center or left or right aligned like this date. Let's try changing it from right to left. or the text align property can be set to justify. When text align is set to justify, each line is stretched so that each line has equal width and the left and right margins are straight, like in magazines and newspaper. Let's try resizing the browser window. Now the size of the space between words are changing as the browser is trying to keep the same width for all the lines. You can set or remove decorations from text using the text decoration property. This is mostly used to remove underlines from links for design purposes. See this is a normal link and when we set text declaration none, the line underneath it disappears but the link still works. It can also be used to decorate text. Let's try to decorate uh, H1 element. Let's see. See here is a normal H1 element. Let's try adding a line through. Now the text has a line through it. Or we can add an overline. Now it has a, a line over the text or an underline. In general, it's not a good idea to add underlines to text that is not links as it might confuse users. The text transform property can be used to transform text. You can turn everything into uppercase or lowercase letters or capitalize the first letter of each word. These P elements all have the same text in them. But they are styled differently. The first one has text transform uppercase. So the text is shown in all uppercase letters. The second one has text transform lowercase, so the text is shown in all lowercase letters. And the last one has text transform capitalize, so the first letter of each word is capitalized. Let's remove the style from this paragraph and see what happens. See the text is the same as it was originally. Now text indentation. You can use the text indent property to specify the indentation of the first line of a text. See the first line in this text has been given more space or been indented. We can change the text indent property 
to change the indentation. You see that's just the first line that's indented. Let's see how we can specify the space between characters. We use the letter spacing property to set the space between characters. This heading has a letter spacing of 3 pixels, which means there are 3 pixels more than usual between the characters. Let's try to give it some more space. Now this heading has a letter spacing of minus 3 pixels, which means there are 3 pixels less than usual between characters. If we set it to minus 10, the characters will overlap. On the w 3 Schools tutorial page, there are more examples and we list all the CSS text properties. And there's a link for each property that goes to our CSS reference, where you can find information for any CSS property. And this concludes our tutorial for CSS text. Thank you for watching.